give a warm congratulations to your inaugural Overwatch League champion, the London Spitfire! I don't know about you guys, but quote unquote real major sporting events have never fully grabbed my attention. Sure, I still get together with my family to sit down and watch the Super Bowl, and that's always a good time, but I mostly found myself enjoying the time spent with family rather than the game itself. However, it wasn't until 2018 when Overwatch League came out that I finally found myself wanting more. Back at BlizzCon 2016, Blizzard announced the creation of the Overwatch League, and with it came excitement and speculation of what the final product would look like. And finally, in December of 2017, Blizzard held the very first OWL preseason matches, which were then followed soon after by the first real match of the 2018 inaugural Overwatch League season. To kick off the inaugural season of the Overwatch League. Alongside this, to kick off their new project, Blizzard gave every player 100 Overwatch League tokens to purchase one League skin of their choosing, because, you know, it only costed that much back then. And we had a field day with this. Now, the team locations and names were nothing special, and like many players, I just gravitated towards what colors I thought were the coolest looking, and that was my introduction to the London Spitfire. Now, I'm no way bruv. But the London Spitfire have a pretty sick color scheme. I've already talked about it at length before, but that sky blue paired with that navy, contrasted by a bright citrusy orange, makes for one unique and eye-catching design while still flowing beautifully. So, as you could assume, the very first Overwatch League skin I ever got was the London Spitfire for Genji. And going into the inaugural season, I figured I might as well root for him. But when I started watching, I never would have expected the ride I was in store for. Now, if you're a recurring viewer, you might have noticed that this isn't exactly my normal type of intro to my Genji videos, so I'll fill you in on what this one's about. If you haven't heard the unfortunate news, the Overwatch League was recently shut down just a few months ago, and was replaced by Blizzard's new project, the Overwatch League 2. I mean, the Overwatch Champions series. Now, I am hopeful for this new endeavor, and wish the best for it, truly. However, ironically enough, I ended up getting really attached to some of those uninspired quote-unquote nothing special teams. I'm actually a lot more sad that the London Spitfire were disbanded than I expected, and I especially want to extend my thoughts out to the players and staff that were affected by this throughout the whole league. The fact that now many people will be faced with financial uncertainty because of bad corporate decisions is the part that really upsets me. However, that's not why we're here. I don't want to feed into the copious amounts of doom and gloom found in the Overwatch YouTube commentary space. Plus, luckily, many of the same casters were eventually rehired for the OWCS, and many players were picked up by an org to compete in the new league. So instead, I want to give a proper send-off to a team that has been with me through so many ups and downs, and even vice versa. This is a team that won the grand finals of the inaugural season, fell from that height, but then clawed their way back as far as they could, and I, like many fans, stuck with them throughout the entire process. It's a team that likes trying weird and fun metas and even forcing characters and metas where they don't fit. A team that values coordination and team play more than anything, and this mentality would end up resonating with future team members. So to everyone who was once a player or staff for the London Spitfire, I just want to say thank you guys for many great seasons and memories. Everyone from Bird Ring and Profit from Season 1, all the way to Chatty, Sparker, Backbone, Landon, and Admiral from the final few seasons. Thank you guys, and goodbye, London Spitfire. Now, without further ado, let's get back to our regularly scheduled programming. Sit back, relax, and let's get on with the episode. Oh, I could do this. Holy crap! Holy crap! <laughs> Good, crap. Nana.
Right, you. I'm going in. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's contest the <laughs> point. <laughs> Such a cool ability. I, I, such a cool. Aris is such a good character. Don't you agree, Oni? I agree. Aris is such a good character. Such a fun character. I definitely I love Aris. So, oh, mm. mm. right, she's gold. Aris is so. Mm. <laughs> Go ride your luck in. All right. <laughs> two times. Back to back. Flip them upside down any way you want it. Two times. Straight down the middle. Slice them up. Butt crack. Whoop. Credit card slice. Two times. It doesn't matter. I did it. I have to kill him for that. Girl boss? Actively getting girl boss? Oh, baby. Oh. All right, I'm going in and doing it. I'm doing it. Okay, I'm okay, doing okay. it. You only got one, bro. Of course I did. And she got me back. Oh boy. I, <laughs> I am ready. Yeah, he died, but I mean, it took everybody to kill him, so. I don't always go stash. But when I do. Oh my god. Who's the other guy that gave us?
wall climb moment. Why that takes so long? land. I've been so afraid of you. <laughs> so I just uh, signed up for a quick play match and it's just like, it didn't. <laughs> Wait. This is a weird game.
You said don't, don't start <gasps> We're dripping! Pretty! We're dripping, brother! Oh yeah, we're dripping. <laughs> Our enemies have much to fear. Oh my god, Give him a little bit of cake in there. Give him a little bit of cake in there, you know? Oh, nah, nah. Oh, nah, nah. Oh, you and Winston pretty much match. Seriously, thank you all for watching this far. It means more than you'll ever know. I didn't intend for this video to come out this late. I had some IRL stuff to do, but nevertheless, I still hope you all enjoyed. I have plans for some very different types of content that should hopefully be more worth the time spent making them and keep you guys fed for longer. So I hope you'll all stick with me until then. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you later.